Well, I think that role play, like simulation itself can mean a variety of different things, but in this context, it's about taking students into a um, either a medium fidelity or a high fidelity simulated experience where they can interact with a, a mechanical doll or a mannequin. Well, I think when you when you see the mannequin, um, although it's plastic. It's, uh, it does have the ability to um, change vital signs, which of course the students are so focused on. It, it has the ability to speak, it has the ability to change vital signs, it has physiological responses, so if you give it a medication, you can uh, elicit a response from it. Um, it can cough, or it can pretend to vomit, or we can apply oxygen to it. So it has a multitude of things that we can do with it, and it can help us understand the concepts behind it. So when I have a group of students around a simulator, I try to um, get them to think of it as real as possible, even though it's plastic. But because this, these are some of the things that they'll see when they get into the clinical environment. It is used in community practice a little bit as well, but really I'm trying to, because I'm a med surge nurse and a critical care nurse, I'm trying to get them to see what, if they do something or if they can't think of something, this is what will happen. I take it into a large classroom and introduce a concept and then we'll actually apply the theory to the simulator in that session or class in front of 70 students. You know, it's a little intimidating for a group of students to be told they have to come down and perform, but they are warned, and what I usually do is have volunteers, right? And so many students email me and say after the simulation, they maybe weren't involved directly, but they were uh, a peripheral participant, and they were able to apply what they learned from that experience into their clinical context. I think that the way that I learned, which was a few years ago, is a little different than how students learn today. I think students are extremely savvy in their um, technology abilities, and plus I think they like to um, learn from a group or within a group, and they like to learn by doing. So a few years ago I was able to use a simulator in a pharmacology class and, and take the students from the table to the bedside and saw such an improved learning and such a more engaged learning experience from them. They couldn't wait to come to class and they couldn't wait to apply what they'd learned. And I think it's our job as facilitators to engage students in learning. These students that I'm teaching, these nursing students, will someday be taking care of me. So I want them to know and, and I want them to learn effectively. And I think simulation is one of those methods that uh, we can use to do that or accomplish that. So if they're looking for using uh, different pieces of technology, in particular simulation or even simple role-playing um, opportunities, find somebody who's done it before and who's comfortable with it and mentor with that person. It doesn't have to be formal mentoring, but certainly I think that experience sometimes um, provides a great deal of, of advice and uh, should be maybe considered more worthy.